once you're in the military, you have to follow orders. Orders are the most important things. If there are no orders, you just kind of have to ask somebody for what exactly they want you to do. And being out of the military, you don't have those orders. You kind of have to figure out what you need to do. No one's going to tell you what to do. Security uh, for yourself, for your family. Uh, the Navy's provided that for myself for 20 years. So pretty much I knew I was getting a paycheck, medical care, and things of that nature. So security for my family and myself were a big issue. I'd say one of the biggest fears is um, you know your job in the military, even though every two to three years you're going to change it and you're going to go into an unknown situation, but your basic job structure is known. And the biggest fear I had was tra uh, translating you know, the jobs that you do in the military, translating that to civilian. Leaving the military and returning to civilian life is a major transition. It's a cultural shift. Here in this empty classroom, 360 people have gone through a transformation and come out more ready to face a new life in the civilian world. All right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, come on, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the session. These workshops are run by National Veterans Transition Services, a San Diego nonprofit. Our role and our goal is to enhance your transition or your reintegration back into your civilian life. The program began a little over a year ago. Classes are already booked up through March of next year. What are some of your fears? Your... Yes, we go. Uh, being homeless. Well, yeah, being homeless. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The cost of the three-week workshop, $2,500, has been covered by private donations so far, though Reboot hopes for federal support eventually. What are your strengths as a service member? Adaptability. Adaptability, not her discipline also. The first week focuses on controlling thoughts, how to manage them, you know, how to create a new set of beliefs, you know, how to turn off those unwanted uh, images inside their head, and then refocus their energy on success. The success they're aiming for is not just about finding a career. Reboot graduate Otto De La Cruz did land a good job as a facilities manager in San Diego, but to keep his family relationship strong through the transition, he encouraged his wife to go through Reboot too. I started to change the dynamics in my household as well and started to change myself. And that's really the key thing about this. Everything, uh, change starts with you. Otto and Osiris de la Cruz have been married for 11 years. Osiris was a devoted Navy wife and mother, but when her husband told her he was retiring, she felt panicky and depressed. Reboot did save our marriage. When he went through Reboot, uh, it was a lot of stress going on because of transition, and everything he brought back, every day, everything that he brought home, um, new information, his attitude, it came to the house. It came to the house and we start talking a little bit more. Your confidence changed significantly. I saw you uh, kind of go back to the person that you were when I first met you. You know, I understood that the, the struggles of, of military life took a toll on you, having to raise three kids, sometimes by yourself. I knew that wasn't very easy and you kind of lost sight of yourself. For 11 years, all my attention was to him, what he needed, my kids also, of course. But next deployment, we're going to prepare for re deployment, his workouts, what is he going to need, what is he going to do. Right after graduating from River, I got a job. I went to an interview, uh, took that job at the Alvarado Hospital, and I'm there, and it's very exciting because we're starting all over again, and we're starting together. The best way to do this is what we call prevention and intervention. Prevention says get them before they get out of the service and help them reboot their brains, reboot their culture, their belief system, so they can go out and be successful versus after they've been out. And you can still do it after they've been out, but it's much, much more effective to reboot them before they get out of the service. <laughs>